So Josie, I think it would be important to talk about gravel because yes. I think that there's still a lot of education needed um, for this subject. Absolutely, and the education still needs to be done a lot in the pet industry as well as for individual caretakers. Mm -hmm. Um, gravel was for many years, unfortunately, uh, recommended to be fed as a supplement or digestive aid for uh, companion citizens, hookbills, mm -hmm. uh, such as buddy, budgies and conures and greater parrots. Mm -hmm. um, it took the avian uh, veterinarian community a few years to realize that the uh, damage that was being done to the birds, the potential impaction of the ventriculus or the gizzard, which is the part of that digestive tract that actually grinds the food down, uh, was actually being harmed by the ingestion of undigestible grit, such as gravel. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, this came along with the age where companion parrot caretakers would start bringing their birds in for physical exams and x-rays. And of course, this particular uh, physical problem was being uh, identified with the use of an x-ray. For years now, we've known how harmful this is for citizens. Uh, there's no harm to be made to offer this for passerines, which is the canaries and the finches. And most of the time, the gravel was being sold in pet stores to be used as substrate in the bottom of the cage. Now that, we all know, poses a problem as well. Right, they can ingest it. So if you were to use it as a substrate, yes. you'd have to have a grill at the bottom. Always need to have a grill at the bottom, and then you can use it as a substrate. Mm -hmm. But again, at the distance between the cage wire bottom grill and the the uh, gravel that you're spreading needs to be far apart so that the birds cannot reach it as well because ingesting soiled matter is not something that you would want to encourage either. Mm -hmm. So for many, many years, the gravel bags that were being sold uh, were not being sold to be fed to birds most of the time. They were actually being fed, like I said, to be spread in the bottom of the cage to keep cage clean. But uh, since then, things have changed, and, and for the psittacine species and all the small parrot species, we recommend the use of clay cow, which is a digestible grit that will not cause any impaction whatsoever.